Provision of portable water, sanitation and hygiene is one of the priorities of Governor Nasr Ahmed Erufai's administration. With the drilling of many solar-powered boreholes and toilet facilities in different locations across the state. The President here before is the Director General of uh, the Ministry of Water, the person of Engineer Ahmed Munir. This workshop put together by Kaduna State Rural Water Supply and Sanitation Agency is aimed at equipping supervisors with new skills and techniques of managing contracts by ensuring that contractors execute projects according to specifications. This is in line with the present administration's commitment to make Kaduna State open defecation free by the year 2023. Well, the purpose of this uh, workshop, as you know, is um, we have intakes of supervisors that super monitor our works across the state, um, our solar projects, our sanitation projects, our borehole projects. So this is the training that you see uh, ongoing and uh, whereby we have integrated technology into our monitoring system. We have the Kaduna monitoring uh, application or otherwise known as KMAP. So this is the training that you see over here that is ongoing and uh, hopefully after this all of them will move to their various sites and uh, to continue monitoring our projects. Part of the problems we have in Nigeria is that most of us somehow don't like doing the right thing until we are somehow forced to. A very good contractor without any supervisor should do the right thing. What do I mean by the right thing? We have bills of quantities which indicate all of the materials are supposed to use and the quantities. And for a good builder, you know what you should do for a building to last. We do not really want to provide these facilities for temporary use, possibly forever. Director General, Kaduna State Rural Water Supply and Sanitation Agency, Engineer Ahmad Munir urged the supervisors to take their jobs seriously and not to compromise standards. The work that you're going to go out to do is very rigorous. You're going to go out to rural areas and you're going to go to very tough terrains. But I'm assuring you by the time you complete your project and you deliver these services, these wash services, whether it's water supply or sanitation uh, facilities to these communities, it's, um, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a feeling that you, know, that, that you can't compare to anything else to bring smiles to the people that are, you know, that are living in these, our communities. So I want you people to take your work seriously. And uh, we are, you can see we're trying to include and encompass and widen the scope of our involvement of the society, every segment of society. As you can see, we are here together with the DG we have, and they are in charge of, you know, um, providing services and care to the disabled members of our society. We don't believe your disability is not a limitation. In fact, we want to, uh, you know, we want to agree that their their intellectual capacity is what will carry them to be successful equally as any member of the society. We're celebrating them only for today. After today, they are ordinary members as any one of you in this room and in the wider society. So we want to ensure that there is inclusion, incorporation, men, women, disabled, you know, whatever the case may be here in our society. Then last uh, but not least, I'm imploring once again, the idea that you guys are going to go out there is to ensure you supervise these our jobs and monitor them very closely. Do not compromise. The training is meant for our various supervisors that will supervise our various projects in, in Kaduna State, particularly the rural communities. They are being trained and are given advices as to what is expected of them in the field. And this training is very important 
in the sense that much is expected from them, they need to be thought of what is expected from them. That is why this uh, program is uh, organized. So whoever is found wanting in the job, that the East constituent ones among them will be penalized. This I had told them, though we expect nothing less of, uh, 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 nothing short of responsibilities from them, but whoever fails to do the right thing will be penalized. This workshop is unique with the inclusion of persons with disability, particularly deaf as supervisors. Yeah, that's the area I understand most because what is expected to me is that as a, a supervisor, I should go and not compromise with the um, contractor. So whatever, is, we should follow the specification. Whatever it is given to me, the guidelines, we will work with it. Yes, they are understanding because while I'm interpreting, I realize smile on their faces and also they do ask questions. So it's a sign of understanding. If they don't understand, they will just be sitting. Some of them will be yawning or sleepy, something like that. So we, with their facial expression, we do understand whether they are getting what we are interpreting or not. Coming in here, the, the hospitality was amazing. The, the hall was set up, and I was allowed to sit in the forefront so I could possibly see the, the activities that was going on on the screen. And uh, I would say that the feeling of being included in this program is is much more than a feeling it's it's a beautiful thing it comes with with a substantial evidence of being involved actively involved in a project that is being uh, headed by by the state government it's it's amazing i just want to tell the world that we are coming up we are here and it seems like the world is ready for us all these people with disabilities, as you can see, the ones that are present here are actually professionals. They've gone to colleges, they've gone to universities, they have their degrees, they have their diplomas, and your disability in Kaduna State and Nigeria and worldwide should not be a limitation to the heights that you can reach or goals that you can attain in your life. So this, I, I, I reached out to the DG you know, Rehabilitation uh, of Kaduna State of uh, the Disabled, and uh, we came out with the concept that we should follow the lead of our governor, and that is total inclusion of every segment of society to participate in the development of our dear state. So we have integrated them to be supervisors as well, to be supervising our jobs. Like I said, it will not be a limitation to the work that they are going to do here. We are going to depend on their intellectual capacity to deliver on the assignment that we are going to give them for monitoring our projects across Kaduna State. Executive Director, Kaduna State Rehabilitation Board, Aliyu Haruna Yakase, commended Ruwasa's Director General for the inclusion of persons with disability into the program and promise effective service delivery. We've been preaching inclusion, inclusion every time, asking that, that we should uh, include people with disabilities in whatever we do. And uh, Kaduna State Government has uh, heeded to our call. And uh, Engineer Mondel, as the helm of our happiest of the Karuwasa, has shown indeed to us that yes, inclusion is possible. And uh, I'm sure. We are not going to let him down, and uh, they will do whatever they will do, inshallah, to justify the confidence that the management of the Karawas are reposed on the people with disabilities of the entire Kaduna state. The supervisors expressed gratitude for the opportunity given to them and promised to discharge their duties according to the laid down rules. I will make sure that uh, the work is done uh, accurately. From the training we've uh, gotten here in Asa Pyramid, we'll make sure that each and every specification given to us to deliver the project is being supervised. Make sure that all things are being put the way they're supposed to be. All projects are being executed the way they're supposed to be, so that to improve the standard of living of the needy. The DG has warned you people participants against compromising standards. Yes, of course, we will not compromise in any aspect to we'll make sure all things being given by the by the contractors will, will be put in place and we will supervise that inshallah we we'll try and be very hard working and try and help people 
in the community in order to ensure good water supply in the community. I feel great. It's not easy to be yeah, given such a responsibility. That is to say that um, the Gardner State Government trusts our work. They know we can handle it. That is why we are given the responsibility to do the work. I really appreciate the DG, uh, Engineer Ahmed Monir, and Gardner State Government. When I go back to the field, I hope to you know, improve on my work because uh, it's very important to present a very qualitative work to the government or to the, uh, the organization. Because with that, the confidence will be built in, in you also that uh, you have done what is expected of you. Uh, with the thorough training got in, I intend to use everything that I've been taught uh, on the contractors and on the site. Uh. Training and retraining of staff embarked upon by Riwasa has started yielding positive results, looking at the number of projects successfully executed. The entire, both the KMAP component, which of course is the technology aspect, of course it goes hand in hand with the human aspect of it. And uh, this training not only provides the engineering uh, you know, and the technical details, but it also goes as far as uh, um, you know, teaching them the technology aspect of it and how to integrate it. So with the reason why we are able to have such a high success rate, I can tell you over the past year since we've started uh, these particular programs integrating both the technology and you know, the human component, um, we don't have a single abandoned project. We've been able to achieve over 3,414 projects simultaneously at a go. Um, you know how our terrain is across the state, ranging from Birningwari to Sangha to Lere to Magarifi to Jama'a, you know, um, uh, you can imagine the wide scope, we're working everywhere simultaneously at the same time, and this workshop that you see is what makes it possible. The Director General Engineer Ahmad Munir also announced that Kaura local government is certified ODF by UNICEF. Uh, it's important, um, may I use this opportunity to announce that UNICEF has certified Gora local government area open defecation free. As you are aware, last year we were able to include Java in the column of ODF uh, local governments and in our drive to ensure that um, the entire state, Kaduna state, is the first in the nation to be ODF statewide. These are the reasons why we are putting additional effort and extra drive to ensure we deliver on these watch services, as you can see with the training that we're doing today. And uh, by the second quarter of this year, we're going to add confidently an additional four local governments. But when the time comes, we'll make that announcement. But for now, we can officially declare um, GORA ODF and we are now waiting for, we have the certification from UNICEF and we're waiting for final certification from the federal government. We are written to them, inviting them, so that we can have the same celebration that you saw we did in Jabba last time. The monitoring and evaluation of the projects will be done using KMAP application developed by Kaduna State Rural Water Supply and Sanitation Agency. Askara local government also declared ODF by UNICEF more local governments are expected to follow suit while the state government remains resolute and committed to achieving ODF targets before the year 2025.